Racket Ralph is a film that I don't see much people talking about, and I'm surprised. In my opinion, it's easily the best revival era film. Also one of the most creative, and in my opinion, the last hilarious one. This film's humor is honestly so great that I struggle finding one bad joke. And don't get me wrong, the Frozen films and Big Hero 6 both have their funny moments. Same with Zootopia and Moana. Ralph breaks the internet and Raya are just... there, I guess. But this is the last Disney film where I actually laugh at almost every joke. Even the references are pretty funny and thankfully... Not overused. If this was a 2021 Disney film, Sonic would probably be the twist villain. And the twist villain, while not Disney's first, he is still Disney's best. His backstory, motivation, and jokes are all pretty much perfected. I wish he got more time to be evil, but the time he did get is not bad. And Ralph is honestly one of the best male protagonists Disney has ever made. Not the best, but he's still really great. And the idea of hopping from one game to another is honestly really good for the time. So good, in fact, that other films would try and take inspiration from it in the future. And in my opinion, Rocket Ralph has the best soundtrack of any non-musical film released that decade, Big Hero 6 being a close second. When Rocket Ralph came out, it was met with really positive reception from both critics and audiences alike. And it did pretty good at the box office, didn't break any records, but still pretty good considering it's only the fourth film in the revival era. We all know which next film would bring Disney back on top. It's also got a sequel, which I'm pretty sure was an excuse to get the princesses together in new clothes to sell merch. Literally every character in the original is likable. And I honestly don't understand the criticism on Vanellope's voice. How do you expect a nine-year-old to sound? It suits her and that's fine with me. In the sequel, two of the main characters in the original get like two minutes of screen time and Ralph turns into one of the worst male protagonists, but that's a story for another time. Now back to the original. The game design for Hero's Duty and especially Sugar Rush is outstanding. And there is this forced conflict between Ralph and Vanellope in the middle, which is really annoying and Vanellope herself can get a bit too much. She's not unlikable but she can get a bit annoying at times. But who cares? The rest of the film is still amazing. I still have zero idea how Brave beat this at the Oscars. Overall the film is really great. The twist villain- wait, on second thought does King Candy really count as a twist villain? For one, he is revealed to the audience to be evil. But on the other hand, the twist isn't really that he's evil, more that he's turbo. It felt to me like they were testing the waters of twist villains with King Candy. And that water must have been good because they gave us three twist villains in a row after him. But yeah, overall, a great film. I love almost everything about it, and I will never get bored of it, no matter how many times I revisit it. Anyway, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and comment down below telling me if you agree. But I have to go now. Goodbye and stay safe.